What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be going over the top five shoe cleaners that are on the market right now. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, you guys, if you guys are kind of like me, man, once you're feeling a pair of sneakers, that's the pair of sneakers that you're gonna be wearing for like two weeks straight. You know, like on Instagram sometimes where they post like the seven day rotation and they have like seven different sneakers. I've never really done that, you know? Like once I like a pair of sneakers, that's the sneakers that I'm gonna be wearing for like two to three weeks straight. Um, today I thought it'd be really beneficial if we just go over the top five shoe cleaners that are on the market right now based off people's recommendations, cost, and ease of use. I'm excited to try them. So for the first shoe cleaner that we're gonna be trying out, we got this soft sole instant cleaner right here. And this is gonna be like that typical shoe cleaner that you find at, you know, like your foot lockers and whatnot. So how this one works is basically you're just gonna spray the shoe cleaner and it comes out as a gentle foam. That's what it says on the description. And then it has this like plastic like brush right here. And I would not say this is the most gentle brush that I felt. It feels pretty rough. So if you're gonna be cleaning a pair of sneakers that you care a lot, I probably wouldn't invest in a shoe cleaner like this. This is like more that shoe cleaner when you're just trying to get the job done. So let's try it out on these uh, Flyknit racers right here, which you can see are pretty dirty. Oh, okay. See, that gentle foam came out with a vengeance right there. All right, so I'm gonna use a plastic comb cap. Has a really fragrant um, orange scent, actually. It smells pretty good. Yeah, so this is definitely not the brush that you wanna be using on any materials that are pretty delicate. I can already tell it's like kind of tearing up the midsole a little bit. And with this brush right here, I can already tell it's not really getting into the nitty gritty details. All right, so next step, we're gonna take this rag right here. No water needed. We're gonna see how it cleans. It did basically what I was expecting it does make the midsole a lot cleaner a lot wider but like I was mentioning earlier the brush is kind of like the weak point of the shoe cleaner it does not get into like the nitty-gritty details of the lines there are a couple lines in here that you know need some more cleaning but I would say overall if you just have like a dirty pair of sneakers you don't care too much about this would get the job done on like a pair of gym shoes or maybe outdoor basketball sneakers that you just want a little bit cleaner so I'm gonna have to rate the soft sole instant cleaner probably seven out of 10. I don't really think I would pick this up again, but you know, it, it gets the job done. All right guys, so next up, we got this Crep Protect here, the ultimate shoe cleaner right here. This is $15.99 on Amazon. So far, I like what I see. I like the travel case and whatnot. We got this like microfiber brush right here, and then we got this premium brush. This brush right here actually has 17,000 hog hair bristles, and what they say the benefit to that is the brush will just be really delicate on um, different materials. So you do need a couple other things as far as cleaning it's not just gonna be ready to go out the box I have my uh, container full of warm water right here add a generous amount of cleaning solution to the brush aka so you can buy another package all right so it, what sneaker are we gonna do let's do the uh, ultra boost these are looking pretty dirty pretty yellow right here on the inside we're gonna dip it into this warm water the brush actually feels pretty good, really soft. It feels like it's getting in there into all of the grooves and whatnot, into the boost kernels. I don't know if it's like these uh, shooting lights that I have set up right here, but this boost is looking pearly white. All right, so I'm gonna take this cloth right here, the microfiber absorbent cloth that it comes with. I would say the size is pretty small. All right, I would say for like the 30 seconds of cleaning that I just did, this little thing did work. The sole was pretty dirty. I mean, it wasn't covered in like dirt and whatnot, but it was pretty brown. So, and you know, considering the whole package with the uh, travel package right here, you got the premium brush. I'm going to have to give this a uh, 9 out of 10. I thought it did really well. I liked it. Third up on the list, we got the Armor Raw cleaning wipes right here. And I know these are not like sneaker cleaning wipes, but when I was doing my research, it seemed like a lot of people were mentioning these, especially on the Nike Talk forum. It does say in the back right here that they are very gentle on a bunch of different materials won't dry out, damage or fade on all different surfaces. They do mean on your car, but a lot of surfaces on sneakers are kind of similar to the dash of the car as far as like, you know, leather goes and whatnot. So the wipe has a good smell. Obviously, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, a car smell. Wouldn't really say it's the best fit for sneakers, but they are a little bit moist. Wouldn't say they're soaked. And the great thing about these little wipes right here is you can get into the really nitty gritty grooves of like an air bubble right here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like fold it up and crunch it up. So it actually got all the dirty grime inside of this uh, air bubble right here. As you can see, even with one wipe, I'm using it on this whole sneaker 
right here. It does pick up a lot of dirt. I was not wiping for that long and it picked up all this dirt right here. So I would say the wipes are pretty effective, man. I would use these again and the price is not bad. They're $6.50 for this whole uh, container right here. You know, if you want that quick wipe down on a pair of sneakers or you have like a small scuff, I can see these being pretty good for everyday use. Something that you just bust out when you want to conveniently clean your sneakers. It did make the shoe a lot more white. That is, I will give that to these right here. I'm going to have to go and give these a 9.5 out of 10. Not a 10 because uh, the fragrance is not that great. All right, guys, so we're getting down our list right here. Number two, we have the Rejuvenator right here. 4.7 out of 5 on Amazon.com. That's the highest, the absolute highest that I saw as far as shoe cleaners go. But the price is pretty steep at $30. But if you are serious about shoe cleaning, you might want to go pick this one up. So with this shoe cleaner, you're actually getting a whole solution right here. And then you're getting three different brushes that all have different purposes right here. You have the one all-purpose brush that has just like, you can just throw that on anything. Uh, you have the premium hog bristle suede brush. You have the one sniff bristle brush. So this is more for like those harder surfaces. Uh, let's clean these 29s right here. These have been hooped in out doors you know all over New York all over Seattle I'm excited to see if the rejuvenator could get out these like scuff marks and all these like dirt on these sneakers right here all right so even on these different brushes it does show the purpose of the brush let's do the all-purpose all right so just taking off this little plastic cap right here it is very foamy fragrance there is no smell to it actually okay it's getting everywhere it's getting messy not super foamy but it does start foaming up so for this all-purpose brush right here I noticed that it doesn't feel as soft but it does feel nice it does feel like it's really you know cleaning all right and then we're gonna wipe this down it does not come with a white like the crepe protect for $30 where is the wipe I'm just gonna use my own so upon further examination it does seem like the rejuvenator does do a decent job it did get a lot of scuffs that I was not expecting it to get out but there is room for improvement as far as like the smell goes there is absolutely no smell if I'm gonna be cleaning a pair of sneakers I'm gonna want it to smell pretty good so that's why I enjoyed the crepe protect and one other thing that I noticed is all the little bristles actually started falling off on this brush right here like started falling off like a middle-aged man or something like I'm gonna have to give it you know knock down some points for that I'm gonna have to give the rejuvenator considering the price uh, the bristles started falling off there's no scent uh, I'm gonna have to give it four out of ten I was not happy rejuvenator kind of didn't meet expectations last but not least we have the famous Jason Mark shoe cleaner right here as you guys know they have a shop in LA where people just drop off their sneakers and then they have workers that clean people's sneakers using the Jason Mark shoe cleaner so this stuff right here is pretty popular it blew up a couple years ago and it's in Nordstrom right now you can find it at a bunch of sneaker shops about $17 for the kit comes with a brush comes with some cleaning solution uh, 4.5 on amazon.com and I heard it's pretty simple to use so it doesn't come with a cloth that you need to wipe it down with you know you got to have your own let's do these these aren't too dirty so I expect the Jason mark you know to be pretty effective it just has some like dirt and dust right here all right so we're gonna take off this plastic part really foamy all right, it has a good scent. Kind of smells like that zebra bubble gum that they used to sell back in the day. I'm not sure if they sell that anymore, but it does smell exactly like that. All right, so we're going to dip the brush in some warm water. I'm curious to see if it foams up. Okay, so it does start foaming up a lot. A lot of bubbles, a lot of bubbles. The brush feels pretty nice, softer than the all-purpose brush that we just used on the rejuvenator. The scent is definitely noticeable. You can definitely smell it. It's hard to kind of control where all the foam in the uh, solution goes when you're using brushes. So it is getting into the fly knit part right here, which, you know, you can't really control when you're cleaning sneakers. So that Jason Mark did work. I'm not gonna lie, I now know why people drop off their sneakers to the Jason Mark shop. If you notice right here, if you get a uh, contrast, it is a lot lighter on the shoe that I was cleaning compared to the shoe that I wasn't cleaning. But like I said, it wasn't like, you know, a lot of scuff marks and stuff. It was just some dirt, and uh, which I did expect to be pretty easy to clean. So I would say Jason Mark did what I expected it to do. It did get the job done. Presentation wise, it looks pretty nice. Good size container. It foams up, you know, does have a bag where you can put everything in and store it in a solid 9 out of 10 I did like it alright guys thank you for checking out that video on the top five shoe cleaners in the game right now I'm gonna have to go and say what surprised me the most was the armor raw cleaning wipes right here these will come really in handy when you just need that quick wipe I can see these cleaning wipes coming really in handy so 
this was the uh, surprise of the video right here. But if I am gonna be sitting down cleaning a pair of sneakers and really turning them around, I'm gonna have to go with the Creprotect and the Jason Mark. I feel like those were really cool. I really like the traveling case of the Creprotect, and then I really like the scent of the Jason Mark. So every sneaker cleaner kind of had its pros and cons. Basically, just comes down to what you're looking for. Uh, please leave down in the comments below what sneaker cleaner that you guys are currently using. What works for you if you just use soap and water the old school way? Let me know a bar of soap and a toothbrush that always works too and that's pretty much it and until next time i'm out peace all right guys thank you for checking out that video make sure you guys check out this video also check out this video leave down in the comments below your favorite shoe cleaner that you guys saw in this video or what is currently working as far as what you guys are using and uh, make sure you guys check out the second channel richie lee tv i got a lot of vlogs on that one as well and until next time i'm out peace